come back to dead cells. You're going to do the daily because it's quick and it's a good warm up. Let me in. Let me in. In today's glass. Sometimes it's a glass, sometimes it's a mug. I don't think it's ever really anything. Oh, actually, there's a mug from last time. Uh, there is. No. Um. There is. Warm root beer. Don't judge me. Uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. Where, where is that? There is. Good. Um, <clears throat> it's not the root beer that you may be familiar with, these are the and so to speak. I see you. Um, the, the 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 fizzy type, the A and W. Oh, yikes. Uh, or or B and M or S and M or C I T V. Run. We are looking for things that will help. <laughs> like this, for example. Let's uh, straight up use that and then kill these jokers and see if we can get some cash. No. Cash back. Um, not cash, though. The real stuff. The important things. I remember that they kick you. I will have to remember that a little bit more in future, mind you. Um, I'm hoping that this particular level is going to provide us with something other than a an item that I have now completely used out. Um, <clears throat> because that's not enough. There's an epic scroll of power and a chest. Let's, uh, obviously we want to explore the first time round. Then we decide what we want the second time round. For example, we're going to take a balance blade and... Uh, with Because... Yes. <clears throat> There's no point keeping the oiled grenade, uh, the oiled blade, except for the fact that it's like we have to. That was really bad. So that's how you beat those. I did wonder. <laughs> I have been wondering because I've been so far uh, conspicuously unable to do so. No, it's not. Um, it's not root beer. Like I accidentally used the wrong. <laughs> Stop. Just stuck in the air. I couldn't stop attacking, which was very annoying. Um, not a, not a can of root beer, not that sort of root beer spice. We have to take this, basically. Um, now, well, we know what we're doing at least, so when we inevitably take way too much damage this time, we can at least uh, make up for it. By next time, when we are not going to die completely. Oh, don't forget, we actually have this. It was mentioned to me that the um, what you have here is what you've unlocked in your main playthrough. So do bear in mind we can basically take as much damage as we want to within reason, I suppose. Um, and we have three heals basically to get ourselves through it. I am going up this way. We will learn what's up this way, and then we will not do it again if it's a terrible idea, because we've already wasted time going down to a place which gave us the, uh, the tonic here, which was only useful because we went down there in the first place, right? So we're going to avoid that whole section. I don't think I need money. I'm pretty sure money does nothing. There's, uh, you know, there's occasional bonus points up there. We don't have to kill everything, but I am doing it because I don't want to come back and find myself in a, a pickle, because I should have killed stuff and didn't. This, um... Freezes the enemy. I wondered if it had... Sure. I wondered if it had a, um... What was I going to say? Uh, 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 I wondered if it had a piercing on the first attack, because it seemed like it did. <laughs> Mostly because it was managing to zap more than one thing at once, which was nice. I appreciate it. So we have not got anywhere near enough time to get through this level and find everything the first time around, but uh, what we do have time to do is figure out what we do and don't want to do the next time around. Right? So we will, basically. Leave me alone. I appreciate how much more damage I'm doing. Just as a result of having a couple of extra scrolls, to be honest with you. Who puts an elite in a daily? What can you get from an elite in a daily? Good question. So we do want to think about... Nice. Um, I don't want to sell that. Who cares? We do want to think about maybe... Alright, let, let's, let's plan ourselves. We're not going to go this way. We'll go up here. We'll go down here. That seems like a good opportunity. We have got a minute left to see what's down here. It's telling me to go this way, so I'm not going <laughs> to... 
Mm, just in time. <laughs> you got nothing on me. There's no way down there. So stop trying. Haha. <laughs> I like it that they're slowed. It gives me that much more time to not be kicked by them. It was only yesterday or so that I learned that they can kick you. So it's good to have some <laughs> appreciation of the enemies you're facing. These enemies are just so much easier when you have the uh, opportunity to freeze them. So I'm just going to kind of ignore that one. Because they don't run away from you, like cowards. So, what is up here? Where are we? Let's have a look. Not this one, this one. We'll, we'll explore down here, but we only have 15 seconds to do so. Another chest. What's in this one? Tell me quick. Don't care. Right, so we don't need to go this way. This way is bad. We're learning. I, I really I really do like the way the dailies are um, set up in this game. It's, it's very interesting. What is this? Flamethrower turret. Yes. So we want to go that way. We've learned. So we're going to run out of time. There we go. Let's try that again. We know where we're going. There's a mouse cursor on the screen, but only occasionally. Let me have a drink. So the way this stuff works is it's... um. Yes, it's warm root beer, but it's um, it's a cordial. It's very licorice compared to the root beers that you might be used to if you've ever had it. It's not very common in the UK, not as much as it used to be, for sure. Um, and that's a bit of a shame, because I do like it. It's a decent drink. Uh, I'm, I'm you can get it on import in the UK from the US, and A&W, and then there's Mug with the two main ones that you can get, which is grand and all, but, um, you know what, you want to go the other way first, actually, so let's do that. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but I found it quite easy to beat that area with um, having opened the chest. Yeah, so this is where we do this. I didn't care about going to get that tonic, if you remember, which is why we don't have something else to swap it for right now. I thought I had an ice bow by now. Get this off the screen. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no mind. It's not a big deal. Nothing there. Obviously, the more times we do it, the more likely we are to get it right. So we'll just keep playing until we can beat the boss, which I'm guessing is going to be the concierge once more. Hey, what? Something teleported towards me, but I don't know what it was. Um, bit of a bit of a. The other thing is, of course, we don't have to fight everything. I was fighting everything. Yeah, I suppose up here. Very well. We can um, use the oiled grenade. Help. <laughs> Just don't be in this position and you'll be fine. I thought I could roll away from that. To be honest. Give me the flaming ice bow. There we go. Now we can kill these things. Sort of. <laughs> There we go. Look how much easier life is when you can freeze the enemy. Right, let's get out of here. Good. Ow. Didn't expect that, to be honest with you. Probably should have. Don't know why I didn't. It's okay. I <laughs> didn't think that would happen. Do we want to go this way? Yes. I can't remember if we want to go all the way up there. Let's find out. Right, this is the cursed treasure. Again, maybe we don't want to open this cursed treasure. Nope. <laughs> don't talk to me. Um, we do want to get that ice bow, but it's pretty well guarded, which is really annoying. And there wasn't anything sort of on the way that made that much of a difference. I'm also wondering, do we... We could try with this stiletto thing, this cursed stiletto here. But it's like 470. Let's try it. Just don't get hit. It does launch a grenade, which could be useful. You know what? That thing is over there, actually. Most of the place I didn't want to be is um, reasonably. Oh, do you know what's just occurred to me? I can't put this down until I get to the ice grenade. <laughs> There's no drop button, is there? 
Is there? I don't think so. Just avoid everything until you can get that grenade. Not the grenade, but... Oh, just in time! I'm gonna get in um, melee range of those, really, it seems. Then you can. Um, then you can. Uh, roll past them. If they are about to drag you back, that's gonna be a big issue, but if they're just about to kick you, that's okay. Okay, good. Let's get in here. Just give me the cursed chest, that's all we want. Again, I'm not entirely sure if I want the. Um, Thing that Cursed Chest gives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kill these things out here because they are going to be the bane of my existence of coming out of this Cursed Chest. But once we've done it, we've done it. Um, basically, I don't know if I want this <laughs> as much as maybe um, it might seem that it's a good thing. Yes, this is correct. Okay, good. Then we wanted to go down there because there was something good down there. And in doing so, we were able to thoroughly beat the crap out of many enemies and thus lift the curse without too much of a bother. Especially with our new ice thing. One more. Not that. <laughs> Not gonna fight an elite is the one more thing that I have to beat. This had something decent in it. No. Not that way. My mistake, although it did get us most of the way to that curse being lifted, we've wasted time, and I don't want to waste that time. Uh, one more enemy. Do be careful. Don't let them sneak up on you. Just in time. Although I didn't get hit, I could have got hit by an invisible enemy. Which had no business being where it was. That was really good, actually. I'm impressed with myself there because I actually intentionally did what you just saw me do. Uh, you may not believe me. That's okay. You don't have to believe me. It is nevertheless true. I don't remember if we want to be down here. Um, I wanted to be... Well, there's an epic scroll of power, so that's good. But I wanted to go down here. And once we've been to this area, I think we can just make a beeline for the boss because we've got all the... Uh, We've got everything we need, although we did give up a curse, uh, no, a, a, an icy sword thingy, no, what's the word I'm looking for? The, 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 the oil sword, yeah? When we have the opportunity to use this flamethrower turret um, against the boss, which we could then cover in oil, right? Ooh, use this. Yes. So we can directly go straight to the boss now. I think we are in a good position to beat the boss, especially if we find another couple of um, uh, scrolls on the way. It would be grand, frankly. I do appreciate this ice. I know I've said it before, but when you freeze the water and lock everything in it, it's amazing. Here we go. So we've got a minute to beat the boss. Don't forget that you have a minute to beat the boss. It doesn't pause the timer just because you can't hit. It is the concierge once again, so we're just going to shut down our things. Remember to jump over the body. I appreciate that it remains... Oh, no. Very slowed. <laughs> we are wasting this boss. We didn't need a minute. Oy! That was so satisfying, the way that went down. There's another door, have you noticed? I don't know what it's for. Next reward and two deadly victories. Thank you for watching. This has been a brief episode for brief reasons. Uh, and in the next episode, we're going to see what is behind door number B. But until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you.